bury my bones. Da 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 G'day guys, we're back in town. In town, back on TikTok. And we're gonna use some of the sunshine here to slap some more paint on this particular work. Big fan. Ooh. Here we go. Cool, cool. All right, wild card. We've swapped from our usual go. We're now, we're, I, I'm now on acrylics. Why? Because I finally got my, what do you call it? Glaze stuff. Um, makes the paint stay saturated. Finally arrived, now we're using it. And it'll make sure that the paint I use doesn't dry darker and go yuck. It's gonna stay popping. Perfect, perfect. All right. That is not gonna work for me. Let me grab some tape, guys. Wind's gonna keep catching that corner. We can't have that. Thanks, Tyra. Appreciate you. Just under that corner to hold it down. That will do the trick. Hey, yeah. Uh, good morning. It's actually borderline lunchtime now here, and uh, draw you please. Look, we could possibly do that. It's an idea. Love the colors we're using. Is that Francisco? Thanks, Francisco. Um, we're back on the same palette, but this time we're using acrylics. So paint on faster. Paint's gonna be stay saturated. It's gonna be all beer and Skittles. With this layer here, I just want to start filling up those last few cracks that we've left in the picture in the last few rounds. So then when I come back tomorrow for the final bit of detail here and there, um, there won't be leftover bits of canvases. So that's the fun part. Been a while since you're live. Yeah, Connor, good to have you back. Um, I've been trying to get on. I did one last night. Um, and I promised everyone I'd be here by 10. But this is 10.30, so I lied. I'm sorry about that. Sorry for being late. Shocking. We're in Tauranga, Tara. All the clothes, yeah. So it's a little chillier out today. So I've gone for the big jacket, but um, we'll see how it goes. If the sun comes out a bit more, we can tone back. We'll find out. Do I also do abstract? I love abstract. 
but um, this is about as abstract as I like to go. I like to have it at the stage where you can sort of just make out what the subject is. It's a mixture of wild paint and if you look at it, sorry, it's, it's wild paint and if you look at it really carefully, then you can make out a subject. That's where I think that uh, painting sits quite nicely. So I guess that's not abstract, that's more impressionism or expressionism, if you have been correct. G'day Kiki, I'm doing good, thank you. Nice, nice use of capitals, powerful. Um, why are you going, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's cold out. Hey Lucy, welcome. Good to see you. I went live last night and I missed you. You weren't there, it was tragic. Um, Picasso Museum in Spain. Yeah, nice, nice. Um, I went to the Picasso Museum in Barcelona and it was phenomenal. Loved every second of it. Can't go past it. Some comments are filtered to protect the community experience. Who posts something naughty? Um, unless TikTok's just saying that. Honey, that is a dinner plate for a palette. It is. Why? Because I think paint uh, mixes way better on porcelain. Sorry. I just believe that. So, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, Lucy. Um, and it's a real pity too, because it doesn't save them. So, um, yeah. I can download them though, so I was thinking that rather than them just disappearing into the abyss, if I grabbed the lives and downloaded them off TikTok and then just started just throwing them on YouTube, I don't know. Um, we'll see how we get on. Uh, porcelain is heavy, but uh, you get used to it. You get used to like carrying it around and then you're prepared in case you're having a dinner party or pursuing a career as a waiter. You're sorted. You'll be able to carry plates all day long. TikTok, if you can't handle... Ha <laughs> ha ha um, Yeah. What's that there? I do the same with porcelain. Love it. Francisco, I like your vibe. We're on the same page. Um, <laughs> Artex, you're sinking. Artex. Artex? Artex sounds nice. Missed it. How many hours has that taken? Honestly, uh, I think we've done like two and a half, but um, the. You'd have to sympathise with me because I do a lot of talking where I just wander around a fair bit. So, um, I think I think if I had a client who was paying like however much an hour, and then he saw the live videos or he she saw the live videos and was like, I don't really feel like that was three hours of painting. <laughs> I'd have to agree. <laughs> so, um, I think you could. I'd give it a definite solid 60 minutes of time. That'd be fair. Lucy supports the YouTube idea. Mean, mean. Um, I've done a few little shorts on YouTube, uh, which is pretty fun. There's like a little following there of like 100 people. It's pretty cute, actually. Um, but I'm disgusted in myself because I've been neglecting them for Instagram and TikTok. And I shouldn't do that to those little YouTubers. It's not fair. I'll get back on YouTube and be nice. Hey, said twice in one day. True, true. Um, because last one ended at 12.30, eh? So we are back twice in the same day. That's wholesome. That is wholesome. We're now on acrylics. So that's fun. Um, I played around for a while with the oils, but the oils haven't dried yet. So instead of doing wet on wet with the oils, you can do wet on wet with oils and acrylics. Um, and it won't just all mix together, they'll stay separate. Oils and uh, watercolors, sorry, oils, oil-based paint and water-based paint don't like each other. They won't mix as well. 
So you can put oils on and then before it's even dry, you can start adding acrylics or vice versa. I like doing that if you're trying to, yeah, have some fun. So big fan. Uh, hello from Florida. You're so, <laughs> thank you. That's nice. Um, Kiwi Bob Ross, that's, that is a huge compliment, Lucy. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Um, I think Bob Ross got more done than I do. I'm doing my best. Um, he was he was actually quite good because he'd talk the whole time and paint. But um, the result he'd come up with was pretty special. Like uh, then again, he wasn't answering people. I've got the ch I've got to read at the same time. So if I could just stare at this in the right, then maybe I'd get more done. Possibly. I don't know. Possibly. I'll use that as my excuse. That's important. Hold on. Professional question. Do you use the vision and colors in your mind when staring at a blank canvas? Um, hmm. Not when staring at a blank canvas, but when you look at a photo, you can turn it in your mind, in your imagination to strokes and colors and expression in a way that you think I can my style can make something special from that subject matter so that does happen um, and you'll also look at some pictures and be like no that won't work so that's part of actually taking commissions too guys if you're if you're doing art um, when you look at a picture there will be a lot of pictures that you look at and go it won't be special with my style I can't make magic out of that and then there'll be some times where you see a picture and you'll think yeah, we can work with that. That'll be cool. So there's that sort of imagination. <laughs> Series on YouTube. Uh, first, I've got to get more consistent on the TikTok live because I pretty much, um, what do you call it when you ghosted? I ghosted you guys for like four days. Um, but my excuse was I was getting the website up and running. And it's now up and running, so I've got an excuse, but I did ghost you guys, which was pretty shocking. Um, are you still adding to the one? Did you take a break from last time you were doing it? Uh, new plate, new plate. So I I pulled out the monks last night, so I wanted to use up the last of the paint palette. That's down the end there. I will go back to that. I'm really liking that one. Um, and then there was, was it the cowboy one? That's still that's still on the move. But um, this is the one for today. I want to get more thick paint on this. This is looking really cool. And I'm actually, I'm actually thinking you might give this an epoxy coat, which is when you put liquid glass over the top, because I want to add paint so thick to it and get a lot of passion onto it. That when I actually um, blah, 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 that I can come back with detail and get wild strokes and find a detail in the same hit. Um, yeah, I hope I didn't just waffle there. I hope I explained that. Okay. Yeah, explained that okay. But liquid epoxy glass is. I think the guy calls himself liquid polymer glass, and he's from Auckland. You can buy it from DIY yeah, DIY shops and whatnot. But his liquid polymer glass is the stuff and the reason it's the stuff is it's high quality doesn't yellow that much um, he's not paying me to say this I just love his product he um, he he called me I mean of course he's not paying me to say this there's only 200 people here <laughs> but he I called him to ask him about this product he spent an hour with me on the phone telling me all about it and how to use it and you know about my art and how I can prove it with epoxy and all this sort of stuff with no expectation of a sale and then yeah now I now I exclusively buy his stuff because that's hospitality he's a great guy fantastic love the guy so <laughs> good one no he didn't this is just a Kiwi guy um, how much pink in there I love it yeah yeah I'm not afraid of pink I am a huge fan of it um, because you've got, I love the color red, I think it's the strongest color. I love the color white, sorry not white, the tone white. If you mix them together you get pink. Um, white's underrated. 
you can lose a lot of white in the work too because it mixes with everything else. So that's the thing. Um, but anyway, if you've got a good set of eyes, we're still in the early stages, but a good set of eyes, you'll spot we've got um, a horse here, a lady here, she's kissing the nose of it, and trees in the background, forest floor here. So keep ticking along, but it's coming together. I reckon another four hours. If I don't spend the whole time talking, four hours and we'll be golden. Um, <laughs> yeah. What he's saying. A few things. Are you doing the same paintings a couple of days ago? We are. This is the same one. So, um, it looked a lot. It looked a lot messier before. Actually, this is the exact same spot I was standing in when it started hammering down with rain, and I made that reel to Alanis Morissette, which super cute. And in fact, it's just started spitting again. So, I may have to swap this paint palette for oils yet. But we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Our worst comes to worst though, it really starts bucketing down. I will move under my little shelter back there and we'll all be fine. I'm so sorry if I miss a comment or two here guys. I'm trying to keep up but I'm doing my best. Haha <laughs> yes it's 10 p.m in London right now. Lucy. I forgot you were from London. That's cool. I'm a big fan. Um, I want paint. That's good. You can go from your local uh, Home Depot. What is paint shrinkage? Um, I don't know. I'll probably give the wrong answer, so I don't know. Let's make it. <laughs> Um, there is a website now guys um, I really let some people down over the last few weeks who were like yo where's your website and I was like I'm updating it and so I finally managed to update it it's up um, it doesn't ship everywhere so if you're in a place where I don't have shipping to I'm not just forgetting about you I just couldn't get the calculator to do enough of that enough of the job so um, contact me directly and we can sort something out that's fine you left your hoodie here last night. <laughs> no, I didn't, David. I was here in the house last night playing card games with my older brother. So, wild night for Sib Gower. Very wild. Be right back. But thanks, Lucy. Um, Lucy, let me know what you think as well. Um, that would be very exciting for me. Oh, the website address is in the bio. So... It's pretty straightforward. That's got some wind coming. It's pretty straightforward. It's Sebastian Gower. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate that. That's funny. A swell art Chad. Is it a compliment? What's a Chad? The only Chad I know is a Chad from Charlie's Angels, the first one. Um, when he's like, he's dating the ginger girl, and at the very end of the credits, he's falling into the chimney of his boat. And yeah, he's hilarious. But the Chad is great. He's not the stereotypical Chad that we hear about nowadays, though. But he's the man. So, there you have it. Drew, but yes. Yes, thank you. Big fan of the original Charlie's Angels, guys. That is a show. What a treat. Uh, oh, Jenny. 
Jenna, thanks for a football. If you saw how bad I am at playing football, you'd take that football right back. But uh, yeah, heavy coat right now because it's cold, but give me a little bit of time to warm up. It does limit my ability to use a paintbrush, so don't be surprised if I have to, yeah, if we get a bit more energy in these strokes. Of packing. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thanks, David. Um, the fact that you can like put symbols down and they appear on me, that's pretty funny. That's a pretty funny thing, TikTok. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, Seth. The Football World Cup's on right now, right? I, yeah. I need the Clint Eastwood. Website great and art is amazing. I'll tell you what, Lucy. I was getting a quote to send Clint Eastwood overseas and it costs about... Tragedy. Fix that. Um, I was getting a quote to send Clint Eastwood overseas and it was like $12,000 to send to New Zealand over. So, that was why. reasons that you want to paint on hardboard and the reason why is because hardboard's indestructible so as long as the canvas doesn't land face down like an ugly piece of toast it'll be completely fine canvas on the other hand canvas falls over and it'll get spiked because it's fabric on the front and it'll get stretched and you can't save it so this is why we use hardboard Not a problem. Just like I'm sure the show jumper. Saved it, sort of. Lost it, saved it. Um, it is raining, so if it's spitting, we'll be okay. Because spitting just means that the paint gets a little bit wet and will flow better. If it starts properly raining, we'll be in trouble. And we'll figure that out when we come to it. So if there's an awkward moment in the next 10 minutes where I like pick up my things and run inside, we start painting from the living room so be it but it's not that bad yet i see sky there i don't see it over there we'll see how we go um yes you should david um that's actually one of the options on the website um fly over here pick it up take it home or i'll fly over to you paint the artwork give it to you and then head home both of them work so, change in scenery, 50-50 chance. Yeah, Amber, we're, we're cutting it fine here. It's definitely gonna start spitting on me. So let's see what we get to. Right. Lag, glitch, I'm sorry guys. It'll be the weather, I reckon. It'll be the fact that the uh, rain's coming down. 
every time I do this, every time I come outside, I swore the first time I'd start checking the weather report. I didn't, I didn't check it the second time. And you know what? I'm not going to check it the next time. People don't change. So, here we are. Cutting it fine here, but I reckon it's still gonna pass. It's still gonna pass. I'm clinging on to that hope that maybe the rain will go. We're straightening up to lose some of the drops as well. There's method to this madness. <laughs> Thanks, David. It is funny. It is very funny. I think it's a British thing. We have to love it. The rain. The rain's a British thing. Probably. Sorry guys, I've got a song stuck in my head and I cannot shake it for the life of me. Lucy, I was about to say I'm from Vancouver. No, no explanation needed. Sorry, that message wasn't for me. I was just reading it out loud. I'll leave you alone. Trying to put the hat on you, save you from... <laughs> I get it. I get it. That's funny. Yep. <laughs> um, but it's a great tune. It is a sad song, but it's a great tune, Peter. So, gotta love it for that. I have this one song that I really like. It's by Whiskey Mine. Sorry guys, I think the Wi-Fi is playing up a little bit, but um, when he says, sweet, sweet heart of mine, I think he says, I'm gonna watch you break a million times. I can't wait. Phone isn't ruined. Ah, he's back. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, cut out there a little bit. Um, it suggested if I wanted to go on to my phone's Wi-Fi over the Wi-Fi that I'm pulling off at the moment. And I said near who, because too high risk. I'm gonna watch you break a million times or something like that. And it's quite sad. But I heard I'm gonna break you in a million times. And I thought breaking a heart in a million times, that's a cool line. So, big fan. Evelyn, is it still glitching? I'm so sorry. This Wi-Fi, it's breaking my balls. And I'm so sorry, I'm trying to put paint on the canvas at the same time or the rain gets too much here. So if I miss your comments, I do apologize. Um, if you had a genuine question and I just accidentally ignored you, then reach out, because I'd love to answer it. Um, I was gonna say, <laughs> I'd love to go for scallops in New York City. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> um, Seb, does anyone in your family paint as well? Eveline, no, I'm the only one. Um, there's painters going back other generations, but in this generation, it's just me. So my mother and father, no, but my mother's grandfather, I think. I'm not sure. Um, last two generations is a big no-go though. And I'm, yeah. I'd be painting barefoot on that grass. Yeah, I should be, you're right. But the reason why I'm not gonna do that is because uh, these shoes have laces on them and I can't be bothered undoing the laces to take them off. So we're here. It is good grass. Well mown, well kept in all the great ways. Um, the same before guys, we're just adding in the boulder colours to it. In Texas are mean. I'm sorry about your ants. Um, our ants here are pretty trivial. They'll eat food off the bench, that's about it. What did you say about laces? Ah, uh, I'm getting sick of this Wi-Fi cutting out, I'm so sorry. But um, 
I was going to say that VVV. I was going to say that. Uh, perfect. All right, guys. So. Problem solved. Sorry for the connection. I've just moved the gear close to the house. So, give me a moment. I need to get these things and bring them up here. All right. And yes, the coffee is cold, terribly cold. So this is what happens. This is what happens. I'll commission Seb to paint. <laughs> I mean, you could, but um, if you're gonna get a commission from me, we should do something special about you. Um, I get a real kick out of depicting things with people. Why he's painting in, I'm not Alexandra, not anymore. The rain is gone. Fantastic, so I'm real sorry about that connection guys. That sucks, but it's a cool place. It is a cool place. I believe 9, 11 a.m. Uh, you're very close. It's, um, what does it say? 10 past 11. Yeah, there it comes. So literally this cloud bank here it's gone. It's moving off that way. It's heading towards, what's that? East? East. And leaving me with clear skies. And got the canvas a little bit wet, but that'll make the paint run better. Appreciate you weather. Thanks, David. <laughs> it's, ooh, ooh, in 10 minutes, that'll be quite an exciting time. It'll be two, 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 two. He said Jesus was full man. Jesus Take the Wheel. I used to really like that song. I'm running out to get you Starbucks. What would you like, Seb? There is not a Starbucks within 20 minutes to 30 minutes of this household. I would love a Starbucks. I like getting a ice long black and an espresso shot. And I get the espresso shot and I pour it over the long black iced. Did I explain that well? I hope so. But then you get there. Yeah, you got an iced coffee, but it's not quite strong enough. So when you add the espresso shot to it, you get that espresso anyway. Are we back? I hope we're back. My favorite artist, it's a two-way tie. It's between Van Gogh and Picasso. Um, I think you can get more out of their work too if you don't see them as the best in the world. If you just look at them and judge their artwork uh, and their lives, um, on, at face value, you can get a lot more out of it. So, problem is a lot of Picasso's work was meant to just be fun and, you know, uh, light and fun and expressive and enjoyable. And now his work was meant to just be fun and, you know, uh, light and fun and expressive and enjoyable. And now everyone's looking at every single purge. So I'll take like a month off. I like coffee. It's not that bad for you. It's a, it's a thing. It's what I like. Love your vibe. Thanks, Dan Dan. Appreciate you. And hi, Sam Josh. Look at you guys, both with two first names. That's just getting greedy. You teach me not to be a left brain and appreciate art. That's cool. I'm glad. That's a cool way to be. Um... 
I always forget what side of the brain. Um, yeah, sorry, Seth. Um, if you look carefully, well, not carefully anymore, you'll see this giant blue saturated sky. We're now, we now have the sun coming down, so we're away. But this t-shirt is doing its last rodeo today. Oh, Seth, we'll miss you. Um, I should be here tomorrow morning though, Seth, so get some sleep. Tomorrow morning NZD, so catch you then. And we can keep painting together. That'll be fun. <laughs> Deary me. Okay, same story guys. We're trying to put as much attention into the background as we are the foreground because I was saying the other day that the temptation is just to finish these characters off and form them correctly and make them beautiful and go, right, done. The problem with that is when you come to look at a painting, you'll start by looking at the focal point and then your as your eyes wander, you can appreciate and then come back to the main painting. <sighs> Thanks, Dan Dan. You might have to feel closer. Yeah, is it staying live now, Daniel? I think it should be. Um, those <laughs> you on your Bob Ross. I am on my Bob Ross, so that's happening right now. But um, yeah, yeah. Sorry about the Wi-Fi, guys. I didn't expect that. I just assumed if I wandered down there to the edge of the cliff, I'd be able to get enough Wi-Fi. It's a bone face lie. It's tragic. But anyway, I'll have to bring the modem with me next time. No way this is the same place he was in 20 minutes ago. It should be. Should be. Yeah. This guy should be clearing. We're at half half right now. Another five minutes. We've got it. How much for this shit? <laughs> you don't want this shit. This is a terrible shit. This is covered in paint. It's ruined. In fact, now it's properly ruined. You don't want this shit. It's no good. Do you like Disney? I feel like you'd be a Disney guy. Well picked, Lucy. Um, I'm a huge fan of Disney. Huge fan. Well, some of it. Um, what do I like? Moana was cool. Big fan of that one. Um, Hercules, that's an old classic. Big fan of Hercules. Um, yeah, Moana and Hercules were my two favorites. <laughs> I just wrecked it. You don't want this. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, thanks, Eveline. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with these comments, but uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just said my favorite two. Literally just said my favorite two as well. I don't I'm not following, but I'm glad I'm a part of it. Oh, come on. You can paint like this. Um, best way to learn how to paint too is in those art classes that they do with the wine and the music and things when everyone's just around having a good time. That's fun. Get an artist who wants to have fun, a bunch of people who want to have fun, a bunch of alcohol and a bunch of music and 
how could you not have fun? And when you're having fun, how could you not learn something? You're gonna win. That's fun. The Disney films, Moana and Hercules. Ah, yes. Yeah, I gotcha. Sorry, I, I skipped the wavelength so fast, but uh, yes, big fan. Um, we Know The Way in Moana, great song. And then uh, Go The Distance, fantastic song. And then Who's the Princess in Hercules? I forget her name. She's ginger, she's very skinny. Um, when she sings, sings that song, uh, Won't Say I'm In Love or something, bah, banger, banger of a song. Your mind is calling me every night to tell me. <laughs> Not quite, David, but uh, yeah, bedtime stories, funny times. You'll buy. Um, oh, this one's not for sale. I'm so sorry. Um, unless you're talking about the t-shirt. Um, if you want to buy this t-shirt, I feel like you can do so much better at your local secondhand shop. Um, and this is this t-shirt's last rodeo as well. After today, it's retiring. So... Favourite villain? Some song by Michael Bolton. Yeah, he got it. Um, Favourite villain in a Disney movie? Oh, look, it's got to be Hades. It's got to be Hades from Hercules. He popped, into my, he popped into my mind first. Hades, you know what? I've got to feel for Hades a little bit. He's a bit of a dick, but he does show up to that party. Excuse my language. But he does show up to that party up in Olympus. He's a god. He deserves to go to God parties. He should get an invite. They didn't send him an invite, so he gate crashed it. And everyone's real unhappy to see him there. And he causes a scene. He's acting out. You know what? Don't be exclusive. Invite Hades to the party. And Zeus can go down to the underworld and have a talk to Hades and just say to him, Bro, last party you came to, you made a bit of a scene. I need you to chill out this time. You're a god. We want you to be a part of things. How about you just come along this time, don't drink too much, and just talk to a few people, and we'll see how it goes, you know? But Zeus didn't do that. Zeus could have been the bigger man. Instead, Zeus is sitting there with his invite list going, right, every single god, and not Hades. Bad guy Zeus. And then he's getting there angry in his temple later on, upset, because Hades is like trying to ramsack the castle, uh, ramsack Olympus. You know what, Zeus? He sort of asked for it. You didn't invite, like, how long have you been, like, between the dawn, dawn of time and then Hercules being born? Millions of years. It's a lot of parties not to be inviting Hades to. No wonder he acted out. So, yeah. Not saying Hades is justified for all the naughty things he did, but uh, look. <clears throat> I think we can all sit here and empathise that Zeus was a bit of a douchebag. How the hell does he read the comments from all the way over there? His eyes could never... Yeah, I squint a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> this is pretty tough to read the comments, guys. But at the same time, there's a trade-off here between you seeing a lovely blue sky, you seeing the artwork, you seeing the lovely green grass, and how far away can you have the phone. Um, so... This is the best distance right here. But TikTok has this great feature that I can swipe to one side and then the comments that scroll appear bigger. So when you comment, it takes up about a tenth of my screen. So it's still small, but I can read. I'm hiring for art department at NYU. <clears throat> I don't know where NYU is. I'm sorry for my ignorance. But that's fantastic. I hope you get some fantastic applicants. And the person who gets it, I'm sure, deserves it. And they'll have a fantastic time. So, there you go. Just came back and it's spring. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. got a little something in my throat here. I'm battling away. But we'll get there. <clears throat> New York City top university. <coughs> That's cool. Well, I'll tell you what. If you don't find anyone, which is impossible because there's so many amazing people in New York, let me do a stint. I'll have a go at it. <laughs> I'll fly out and do 
I don't know. I don't know what the job is. I'll do it. I'll have fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. Right, Lucy? I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. I'd be that guy who would be like, not on the night of the party, but I'd be like, oh, I sort of feel like I should visit Hades in the days before or after, just to come say hi, just to, you know, make sure he's feeling all good. Because he is getting left out of the main event. Pretty rude. Hmm. Is it pretty you like? Um, I think I'm following. <laughs> Did I get this plate from the kitchen? Yes. G'day, Ree. Um, yeah, it's a good day. It was raining just before, but now the sun, literally, just as I read your message, it's just hit me in the face, and we're in full sunshine now. But um, I was answering another question there. Forgot plate. Plates from an op shop. That's what Kiwis call a second hand shop. Um, and this plate is, so I buy a bunch of plates that no one else wants in the corner of the second hand shop and then I use them for painting. And that works on two levels because on one level you get uh, the money going to a second hand shop which goes to local groups and charities. On the other hand, I get a bunch of plates to paint on because I like porcelain and everyone wins. So, favorite color, red. Red is the color, red's cool. Big fan of red. Love the wine bottle. Oh, this, this is actually my water. Um, yeah. There's not much left in it. We will have a sip though. Thank you for reminding me. Hmm. Hydrate, guys. Hydrating's important. And what's funny about that is, fun fact, the human body is, what is it, 70% water? So if your body's 70% water, and my body's 70% water, if I recommend for you to drink water, it's just water recommending water to drink water. Sounds like an inside job. No sunscreen, so we're at high at risk. Did you throw away the plate after each painting? I do not. Uh, it is re. It's the same one. So we're just adding layers to it slowly. Because I'm a yabba mouth. But we're getting there. Um, the paint trays, sorry, are stacked up in the corner of the studio. There's about 70 or 80. And I don't know what to do with them. I was thinking I was going to start selling them as art themselves. Or epoxy them, make them into something cool. I don't know. Let's see where it goes. I think mine is only 20. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Willie. Drink more water. Um, water's real good for you, eh? Like, I don't think water's as good for you as not having it is bad for you. Yeah. Yeah, but then you drink too much if you go to the bathroom the whole time. So, I recommend, you count 75? 75 it is. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. I don't know, I feel better. I feel better if I have about seven glasses of water a day. But I have them early in the day. So, that way... Um, if I drink too much, then I can still sleep the whole way through the night. If you know, you know. Uh, ever had this job? I have. I have. It was, it was all good. Um, but I prefer being on my feet. Being on your feet's good. How much for the paintbrush? Uh, that was another thing. I've kept all the paintbrushes. So, all the paintbrushes are also with the trays. I've kept the particular paintbrushes for each individual painting and the I don't know what to do with them yet. One idea with the paintbrushes is I was gonna epoxy them. So you'd have like a um, the paintbrush in like a liquid glass layer, which would be pretty fun. But uh, haven't done anything yet. If you wanted a paintbrush though, 
the only thing you'd really have to worry about is shipping. Um, the paintbrush, how much is the paintbrush? I think they're about 15 each, one five. So I'd do, you, I'd do you a paintbrush for 20 bucks plus shipping. <laughs> um, a Negroni. Yeah, I've had one of those before. It was not the... Uh, it was not my usual go-to. I can see why other people would like it, though. Don't like black or white Russians either. Not a big fan. Let's go for dinner. Cammy, that is so sweet. Um, it's a very tempting offer. But I don't even think you're nearby the Bay of Plenty. Thanks, Ashley. And what paint do we use? We're using uh, acrylics at the moment, but predominantly on this canvas, you're actually looking at oils. And we're using the acrylics because they will not mix with those oils. So that's fun. Um, in the morning, I'm supposed to, um, but I get slack. Like this morning, I was supposed to wake up and do a workout routine to cool music outside, have some pre-workout, do the whole nine yards, and I lay there in bed. I lay there in bed for an extra 45 minutes to an hour and a half, between about 6.30 a.m. to 8 a.m., I just edited TikTok, not TikTok, uh, reels to post. So, you know what? That happens sometimes. I'm not going to get angry at myself. I should work out tonight. Maybe I will. I hope I do, but we'll see. Have I ever been to New Plymouth? I have been to New Plymouth. There's a great cop there, which is fantastic. Um, Great art galleries. Uh, what else is there? Irish pub. Open all the time. All the time. Um, yep, that's right. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Um, this is actually New Zealand, but yes, in Australia they do all look like models. There's so much sun there, and they have such healthy diets that. Australians look great. This is, this is no. Us Kiwis are hit or miss. Lucy is the number two top viewer. Of course you are, Lucy. You're the best. I'm in New Zealand too. You know, I missed that. Ooh, I just scrolled past it, sorry guys. But good that you're in New Zealand too. Good to have you here. Um. <laughs> Yep, all right, well, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not sure when I'm next to be in New Plymouth though, but uh, like I say, you've got a great Cobb & Co, so full kudos to you. Just heard my brother arrive home as well. I'm hoping that he wanders out here and I'm gonna stitch him up. I'm gonna stitch him up, because first off, I'm gonna offer him, uh, he's gonna offer me a coffee, probably, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll say yes to that. And second off, I'm gonna ask him for a pair of sunglasses, because now I really am squinting, and I'd like to fix that. So I could shout you dinner. Cammy, you're so sweet. Um, that's so tempting, so tempting. I mean, if he doesn't play on our team, what if he <laughs> That is a problem. That would really throw a spanner in the works. Ah, da, yum. 
Okay. And yeah, we're gonna grab some yellow into the blue. Make some green. This is unlike me, guys. I do not do this normally. Usually, I uh, usually I just use the paint straight from the tube. So this time, we are adding in and mixing our own green. Wholesome. Wholesome. Um, my brother's name is Alex. Two brothers. One's Alex and one's Toby. And the two best brothers in the whole world. I'm sure there's other great brothers out there, but they're not these ones. So sorry if you thought you had the top place, but you've been knocked off it. My brothers are better. First, <laughs> it is actually. Um, this is the green I made. Are you ready to see it? Voila, that's my green. It's a lovely, lovely green. Very proud of myself in all the ways. <laughs> this chat is getting wild. Naughty, naughty. Okay, we've tripped up a little bit here on this horse. I think we have, yeah. We've done a classic mistake. We've squished the horse too far over this way. I think we need to pull it more this way. So let's see what we get to with that. This is supposed to come down here. There we go, that's better. And then this lady actually, this lovely lady, is she in the right place? She is in the right place. I think she is. I think the mistake we're making here, guys, is that actually, let's do a test. Just as I suspected. Gotta make sure of that. So, Turns out I was doing everything right, but my framing was off. So that actually does land there. That's perfect. That one, yeah. We're golden. I was panicking. We're golden. <clears throat> Not in the right place if the horse were running. I don't understand the comment, but it sounds correct. Now this goes here. <laughs> Comes to New Plymouth and I'll take you to Cobb and Co. What a treat. Um, yes, I'm trying to get more paint down today, so. start to notice I'm adding more greens to the background now and the reason for that is I want to start making it look like trees now the other colors are into the picture so that's fine let me just turn the brightness up on the screen here a bit already on full wild all right 
Um, so we are doing, I am doing, what would you call it? Impasto, impressionism, um, expression, expressionist, impressionism, abstraction, it's a whole bunch of things. Um, I don't know if you're trying to explain what I do, but I don't know. He uses a bunch of colour. It's pretty wild. You can sort of see a picture. It's sort of messy. He has a bunch of fun. It's wholesome. I think that would give him a good picture. You're holding the paint like a pizza box. Yeah. One pizza being delivered. Um, the... I like it on these plates. Feels nice to hold. So, And if the painting ever falls through for me, I would make a great uh, pizza delivery boy. So, pizza delivery man. I don't know, that's probably too far. Pizza delivery guy. I'll give myself that. <laughs> Thanks, Des. That's phenomenal. Frozen. I'm sorry. Unless you're commenting on the uh, Disney movie. In which case, yes. What is the name of it? <laughs> Pick me paintbrushes back up. Yeah, fantastic. Pick your paintbrushes back up. That would be fantastic. Cammy, I am glad. Good for you. Power to you. Um, yeah, if you get inspired, that was very close to being lost. If you get inspired to pick up your paintbrushes again, 
then I have had a very, very successful morning because that would be a good result. John Hudson, practice body painting on you. Well, it's not all that practical, um, but I appreciate the idea. Wholesome. What am I gonna do about her hands? They're messing me up. I haven't touched this place very much at all. Um, you can get this tent, I mean, you can get this temptation to attack areas that you think are important. At the moment, the background's lacking the most. Um, her hands, if you look at the picture as a whole, and take that little box, it's about a 40th of the work. So it's about 2% of the entire canvas. So we don't want to actually hone in on that and put a super large amount of detail onto it until the very end. Henry, you're the man. Thank you, appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, so sorry, lost my trail of thought there. It's too busy appreciating the kiwi. Um, yeah, so two percent of the piece just here. We don't want to give it all our attention. We want to spread that attention out, and then towards the end we can ascertain and attack focal points, but that's not right now, so we'll take our time. How do you know where the colors are put where? It's crazy to you. Um, well, 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 Lucy. Um, the idea, and it's gonna sound silly, but I just keep putting paint where I see shapes and I see tones, and I just keep adding it to those areas and most of the strokes are in the wrong place um, but the uh, overall goal is that if we keep doing that eventually, eventually after stroke after stroke after stroke um, they'll get closer and closer to the right place until the piece actually comes to a point where you think we're there um, the typical trick I use is to decrease the size of the brush. So I start with a big brush and get smaller and smaller and smaller until, yeah. So when you start with a big brush, you'll notice big pieces and as you get smaller, you get smaller and smaller pieces. Is that a plate? It is a plate. No relation to Patrick Gower. I'm so sorry. He's a great guy. Um, well, I don't know that. Um, he's a guy on the news, but he is not a relation to my girls. I'm best at, so. 
Back to another. Another. This is a tough thing to ascertain. It's doing that thing again. We have to touch all four corners with us now. Painting la lights? Lights. They're leaving. We'll miss you. Hope you have a great day. Enjoy your car, uh, PSI. PSI? I will. That sounds fantastic. Oh, lost my brush. Um, send some sun to the Hawks Bay, please. Absolutely. I'll put the note in there. Oh, jeepers, I just missed it. I was picking up my gear. But thank you, David. Cheers to the moustache. You're the best. And hello from Vancouver. Hope you're doing well. And uh, what do I do full time? Full time? Uh, I, I'm half time paint. And then half time working for a franchise here in New Zealand as well as an ops manager marketer but i'm stepping back to part-time to paint more david you're the best i'll see you later you look after yourself favorite painter is picasso and van gogh i think they're both great great people great everything very wholesome <laughs> G'day Claire, how you doing? Where did I train to paint? Ooh -wee. Uh, let me think. All over the show. But, um, Dunedin, Wellington. Most private classes I did were here in Tauranga. It's supposed to be a nice blue sky, but now it's raining. How about that? You still want a shirt signed for your wall. You're pretty hung up on that shirt. I'll tell you what, since I'm throwing this one away after this, you are welcome to it. That's a lovely plan. What's my favorite piece of art? That's a big question. That's a big question. Um, favorite piece of art? piece of art. I don't know. I don't know. I've got no idea. So, who knows? <laughs> yeah, seems like it. <laughs> How would you rate your pronunciation of Tau? So, there's a couple of ways. So, a lot of uh, people say Tauranga, but that's not quite correct. It's Tauranga. So, but either one's fine, really. Um, but Tauranga. So, you roll the R a little bit, just the once. Tauranga. Tauranga. So, yeah. Eveline, I miss you. Goodbye. Thanks for joining. You're the best. Have a great day. Um, 
Ah, Kansas. Wild. Wild. Welcome to a random stream of a New Zealander painting. And what looks to be a sunny day, but somehow rain's falling on it. So, yeah. Are you about to trot? No. Trot where? Should do. Maybe that cloud's coming over here. You can see rain coming down and you can literally see clouds moving away. Um, uh, is it raining? It is raining. It is indeed raining. Literally just adding in exactly what we need to and giving them the same amount of attention as we give the rest of the piece because, yeah, I'm trying to spread our attention out. Hands in this picture are 2% of the picture, so we're not going to give them too much attention. Thank you very much, Devil Child. That's lovely to say. The rain won't ruin the painting. It will if it comes down too heavy, but um, if it only comes in light, it'll just add. Um, Things will be a bit more fun. Who knows? And if we're using oils, it won't really bother us too much. I have no one like that. And a bit of mounting. I have one like that, a bit of mounting tape on the back. Canvas against these it helps. So, oh, well, it'll be nice. Awesome. Yeah. So. too long to get there but uh, now I'm on board yes that would help why have I never done that I will put tape on the easel next time very good all right
Ecuador, welcome. <laughs> yeah, the view is very helpful, Lucy. Um, sort of cool to be outside as well. We're using acrylics, so it's really not relevant to be outside um, fumes wise, but yeah, it's good to be out here. How bizarre, people keep saying I have a New Zealand accent and I sound nothing like you. Um, males sound very different to females in New Zealand, um, accent wise. Um, so maybe you've got a female New Zealand accent, who knows? How much do I sell the oils for? It varies. So some oils are priced at about 400 and then other oils get up there around the sort of $3,000 mark. So depends what you're after size wise and where you're shipping it to. Um, this sort of size here, these pieces are normally around Depending on time, four to seven hundred. Um, so, if you know what size you're after, um, there's, yeah, then contact me directly. But uh, if you're after, if you're not that fussed on size, on the website there's a commissions page where you can select. That I mean, it's standard sizing in there, but if it's just a little bit different, bigger or smaller, we can tweak accordingly and make something work. So that's cool. You sound Australian more than Kiwi. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, when I say 3K, that's um, that's a big sucker. Like it's actually, it's taller than me. It's about this tall. It's, it's over two meters tall and it's about 1.4 meters wide. It's humongous, it's called Clint. And yeah, I mean, when you talk about that, you're also talking about this, that. You're also talking about the sheer amount of paint that goes on it. Like there's a couple of hundred dollars of paint just on its surface. And then the canvas itself and all that sort of stuff. Costs stack up. Yeah. So smaller the art, less materials, cheaper it gets, less time. Um, but with a character like Clint as well, you've got um, such a big surface area, and when you're paying the same amount, that same amount of attention to all the areas, um, yeah, a lot going on. <laughs> Cheers, Anna. Appreciate that. I'm a huge fan of it. Art Attack. I've never heard of Art Attack, but... The last thing I want to have is an Art Attack. Learned to paint when I was a little baby. Never stopped. Well, I did stop for a while, but... Uh... helped me paint the most was um, connecting with other artists so friends that had become artists and go on their own little journey um, that was yeah that was that helped the most sort of watching others do the same stuff and learning from them um, yeah have I ever painted dogs your fans seem to appreciate huge horse like landscapes I think so I hope so <laughs> um, the yeah so we can pay dogs we can try um, no reason why I shouldn't be able to it's just colours and shapes apparently someone is buying his shirt in the comments yeah yeah so that's I think the person is joking so I think we'll be alright but they want the shirt I'm only going to throw it away so from my point of view, it's less wastage because it's either going to go in general waste into a landfill or, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, giving me Rupert Everett and Hugh Grant if they had your vibes. That's cool. I don't know either of those people, but they sound like lovely individuals. And after this, if I remember, I will Google them. <laughs> Lucy, <laughs> you're just trying to stir up trouble now. Um, there is, 
There's no shirts on the website. Oh dear. But I was thinking of putting the brushes and pallets up, which is pretty fun. Because I think some of them end up looking pretty cool. About 15 kgs a set. <laughs> do you ever sell your art? Um, yes, Bella, I do. So, um, in terms of the paintings, you can find a link to the art in the bio, so by the website. And if you jump on the website there, there's a couple of art pieces available. There's also a commission section where you can commission pieces, medium or large, and you can get uh, rolled or sent if you get it sent like on the canvas piece it costs a ton because it needs to get boxed and like protectors it goes over but if you get it rolled it's much cheaper um, because it's just a tube that's been sent over but you need to restring it onto a canvas yeah so there we have it yes please normal If you heard that, um, my brother just popped outside and now he's going to bring me a coffee. So that turned out really well, almost exactly the plan. So that's fantastic. Um, I didn't ask for glasses though, so my fault. What's our time at guys? 12.10 12.10 So Yeah we'll keep going We got time, we got time Uh oh spaghetti Um, I've got a dash 3 o'clock 3, leave by 2 It's in Rotorua so I've got to leave by 2 Shower in about an hour and 50 minutes, I reckon. Hour and 50 minutes, is that? Mm, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. How did you think of the style of art? Um, yeah, 12 hours ahead here in New Zealand. Um, but how do you think of the style of art? Uh, it's sort of my default style. So... Everyone's got their own way of painting. Like when you go back to your roots or to what you do by standard, what's your, what's at your core? How do you do it? Um, this is, this is my sort of way of doing it. Um, it's messy, it's expressive, uses a whole lot of color. It treats paint almost like charcoal, just really attacking it onto the canvas. The brush strokes aren't delicate and, and some of them are, but most of them are actually really primal, they all look like brush strokes. Um, and when you come back from the work, you can make out the bigger picture. But up close, it's a convoluted mess of strokes, all trying to do their own thing. So that's, uh, that's what I'm into. Cammy's in Auckland, fair enough. And thank you very much, Matthew. Is it oil? It is oil, well, most of it's oil. We're using acrylics at the moment, but uh, predominantly on it so far is oils. So I'm pretty naughty. I sort of chop and change between the two of them. Because they don't like to mix. I'm so sorry to uh, Lucy as well and the people who watch from the start because they hear me repeat myself five or six times because I'll say the same things. So in this case here, yeah, with oils and acrylics, um, two ways to paint. You do wet on wet or wet on dry. Wet on dry means you wait for the layers to dry and then you put more paint on top. 
wet on wet means you don't wait for it to dry and you just add paint straight on top. Um, you don't need to worry about which one you want to do if you swap between acrylics and oils because you get more leeway. Because wet on wet, it's ah, it doesn't do it as much because oils don't like waters. Didn't do a very good job of explaining that, but I did my best. So I hope you appreciate it. Hey, thank you very much, Caitlin. That's really sweet. And uh, haha, it's fine. I've got you in the background while I paint too. I said, yeah, perfect. Thanks, Lucy. I appreciate that because uh, yeah, I was feeling for you when I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> I don't mind repeating myself, but I sympathize for those who are like, I wish you'd make a new point rather than just saying the same thing 15 times. So, yeah. Here we go, cousin. Here we go. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Not bad, not bad. Cheers. <coughs> I repeat myself all the time. How long does a painting take? Seven hours, roughly, sometimes. Uh, five to 15 hours. It, it chops and changes. I want to see it up close. Yeah, so I'm working on that too, because on the website right now, you've literally just got artwork, which is, um, the main picture and I'm a, the shots aren't the best right now but I'm gonna I've got a camera I'm supposed to put them into the Lightroom and take proper photos and then get some zoomed up shots so you can actually um, really look at it and study different areas of detail um, you hear me yarn about things like Clint's eyes um, the frown lines in Aboriginal but the problem is it's sort of all pie in the sky until you can see it really up close and be like see what that random kiwi fella was yakking about so um, but I just want to get the website up and running so it was there you can enjoy it and yeah those finer details will come afterwards um, lucky weather <laughs> cheers guys so with the acrylic paint too, guys is it will have far less luster compared to the oils now to mitigate that I add a uh, gloss gel to our acrylics and that'll keep them juicy and saturated compared to the oils otherwise you'll get this weird um, contrast between you'll have your oil paints which are there bold and saturated in color and you have your acrylic paints which are dried darker and flatter with a more matte effect so really good to mix gloss medium into your acrylics if you're mixing the two of them otherwise there's too much contrast between the two <laughs> cheers guys it's not a rainy day but somehow raindrops are hitting me so I don't know where they're coming from but uh but they are showing up, so that's fun. There we go. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. How's that looking on your screen, guys? Let me just swipe this here and have a look, see. Yeah, we're in a good place. So, important thing here, guys, the temptation when you look at it is to go, oh, if you just went in there and did a bit more work on her hair and her hips and her arms, it would all just come together. Don't do that. Um, do everything equally. The background, the foreground. If you don't do the style, bring it all together in unison because otherwise you can't go back once certain areas, especially focal points are in full detail, and expect that you'll bring the background in to catch up. That's two separate paintings. It's a background painting and a foreground painting. Don't do that. Do it all at once. Bring it out together. Um, 
I learned that the hard way on many paintings and on a few paintings actually when I did focus on the foreground I actually just went and just thought right well that is what it is we're not doing background on this piece I'm literally going to leave it as canvas um, and I felt better for it if your style is different good for you do you have any paintings rolled for shipping um, so a lot of those paintings will roll for shipping some of them won't on canvas because they've got a liquid epoxy glass on them um, but for 444 for, for commissions you can order a commission as a rolled canvas and so I can ship it around the world for very low cost um, and then you just have to stretch it yourself in your hometown um, so that's a cool way to do things um, if you're on a budget and you're in the US or the UK or Europe and you do want some artwork going for a rolled canvas is the best way to go and we can actually um, we can actually we I can do it in a way where if you actually don't even want to talk to someone to stretch it we can have it in a way that you can just hang it the way it is as a loose canvas it won't sit perfectly flat but hey it'll be cool it'll be fun so there you have it you can stretch it yourself who can stretch themselves? Who's that person? That's cool. Um, Nadia. Nadia can stretch canvases. Good for you. Oh, no, I think it was a metaphor. All right, here we are. <laughs> what hair product? This is actually just salt water at the moment. Um, A good healthy dose of salt water so it may look nice but I bet it doesn't smell pristine it'll just smell really beachy so there we have it um, <laughs> thanks Cammy that's wholesome and I see it just popped up there that we had a new subscriber on YouTube so whoever went from this TikTok to my bio to my website to my YouTube channel to the subscribe button you deserve a medal you have been on a journey and I salute you good for you We are from, I keep saying we, I'm so sorry guys, I'm from Tauranga, they have plenty, but I'm moving up to Auckland soon, and like, what's the date today? Can someone tell me the date? I'm moving up on the 1st of December. Seb, oh, no, I just lost it, hold on, I'm so sorry Lucy, I think I've let you down, let me, <laughs> Lucy, you have never let me down, you're one of the greatest humans on the face of the planet, and I appreciate every moment that you're here, enjoying this lovely sunny yet rainy day with me so don't you dare say that um, my love is in Wellington yeah Wellington's cool I love Wellington um, did that just uh, what was the thing there he's the guy in every comedy that shows up and steals a girl I wish I wish no I don't wish actually then everyone have their time. I'll be the guy in the comedy with the stupid jokes. Um, who like the silly dad jokes? Who like comes in for comic relief? Um, and like a laugh at, not a laugh with kind of way. Um, yeah. Never in a steal your girl kind of way. I was too nerdy for that. I was too nerdy. I'm like the, I'm like the go to the house party and have, 
have fun, be a nerd. You're on to me, Matthew. It's 100% right. Yeah, I Like I was talking about, we are adding in these. Um, we are adding in these warmer colours, and it's going to add more energy and fire to the work. Um, it's part of the fun. Similar to the guy who chops wood, the people are drawing in the corner. Who's this guy who chops wood? That sounds pretty cool. Um, is he an actual chopper in New Zealand? Because I was trying to get into wood chopping, and I couldn't find anyone to sell me an axe. So, if you watch him and he chops wood in New Zealand and he's got a proper axe, can you ask him if that painter dude on the other channel um, could buy an axe off him? I'll trade him a painting for an axe. Because um, I've just got splitting axes and are no good and I would love to have a chopping axe. So, please. <laughs> He'll be sitting there trying to cut his wood and be like, yo, yo! There's a dude in total who wants to trade you a painting for an axe. And you'd be like, no. <laughs> and we're back to square A. It's in America. Ooh, shame. Shame. That's me. I guess, I guess I'm not trading an axe for a painting. Thank you, Johnny. Appreciate the rose. That's funny. I've just spammed your YouTube, so apologies if you've got constant notifications going off. <laughs> Cheers, Lucy. Appreciate you. Um, but yeah, if I can get my act together, I'll start getting the lives, downloading them, and then putting them up on uh, YouTube, so that way you can catch it later if you miss it. So, that's fun. Um, I haven't got Twitter. I haven't got Twitter, but I want to get one because yeah, I think Twitter's quite cool. I don't know if I'd just go completely silent and not post anything, or if I'd overshare and just post too many thoughts. It'd probably just be a series of ice cream, uh, not ice cream. I just thank you very much for the ice cream, objective booth, but um, it'd probably just be a series of art quotes and happy day inspirational quotes so that's the best i can do wouldn't be the end of the world be all good i thought in terms of the medium though uh instagram was better because don't get Twitter. You're too pure for Twitter. <laughs> um, is Twitter like that? Is it a thing? Or can you just go to Twitter and make wholesome posts that people can reshare about having a good day and how to paint? It'd be pretty fun to get like... I mean, I could make a daily post on Twitter about a uh, technique for painting. Twitter is a dark place. Twitter's going to die anyways, apparently. Oh, come on. The only reason why I don't post a little art technique daily or a little art trick that I do is because um, I feel like Instagram and TikTok are more visual and so it's just giving you away really. Maybe I should put it in the... Uh, I suppose you could put it in the text of the post. Yeah. There's options. There's options out there. Um, is that going to be for sale? Um, this one here is an interesting one because 
longer it takes. No it doesn't. I want to give it to that girl. This girl here in the picture. I want to give it to her but I have to do some arrangements for it. I've got to frame it and stuff and I don't know where she lives. If she lives far away away it's niggly so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, hold on a second. It's still spitting. I'm going to put my jacket inside. Give me like two minutes. I'm saying 20 seconds. 20 seconds. background time and we're going to use dark blues in the background that's where we're at sorry what time is it here for me it is 11:29. for me it is 12:29. so that's wholesome um love to stay but have to go dan dan it's been fantastic having you here look after yourself and until next time all the best same here, 11.30, I'm covered in paint. <laughs> oh, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Um, I think, were we talking on one of the, uh, in the comments, one of those reels too, Lucy? Um, about being messy when you're painting? That's pretty funny. <laughs> I try and keep it like, I've got paint on me right now, but sometimes when I get too messy, I actually put on a full-on Sunday best suit, and that's to completely recalibrate myself back to um, making sure the paint goes from exactly where I want it to be on the palette to exactly where I want it to be on the canvas. So, that's where we're at. Wouldn't be surprised if this dude was a distant cousin. About that. In fact, you've had to purposefully make your shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I did do that. So that is fair. We'll give it one more in a second, Lucy, just to just to empathise with you. Um, your art piece is seriously, oh thank you, appreciate that. Um, <laughs> cheers guys, appreciate you all. Um, yeah, same story, the blue's going to add depth to the background. Temptation when you're painting forests is to just keep using uh, green paint, don't do that. Um, we well can do that, but if you're feeling like you want your forest to be deeper, go for a dark blue. Um, not even dark green, dark blue. Get it in there. Yeah.
live in Ireland and TV so crap my new channel screen what can you paint um, I didn't fully understand that comment but uh, it's great you're here from Ireland and wish you all the best that's pretty cool <laughs> Cheers guys um, so one thing I'm doing now is I have not that exciting but I've added whites to the blues so now we're doing a what do you call that saturated turquoise no it's like a I don't know cobalt a glossy cobalt color I don't know I don't know guys Usually I just rely on paint straight out of the tube. And that's easy because that means it's already named, which is fun. Acrylic paint, it is. So it's raining outside, which is a bit niggly for the acrylic paint, especially if you've got a medium in it like, um, like, like, like gloss, which we're using here. Um, but most of this canvas here is oils. <laughs> Uh, it? It's pretty much tidier than usual actually. It's wild. It's well pointed out. Maybe I need to get more messy. Maybe maybe I need to have a really messy session. Like one of those sessions where you just I'm not wearing the nice shoes, it won't be the jeans, and you just let paint fly. It'd have to be outside. It'd be just the sort of thing that when you swipe with a paintbrush, half of it hits the canvas here and the other half goes over your shoulder, that's when you really start painting. That's a that's a factory reset if you've got in a, in a bit of a writer's block. Writer's block? Painter's block. Um, uh, I'm not going to mess it up. Uh, it might, Matthew. That's a risky run. So, uh, with the... Um, with the... the, the too much of it on the canvas it will ruin the paint but we should be okay we should be okay a couple more drizzles and we will survive that not sunny it's raining down so anyway we'll see what we get to I vote for a really mess messy abstract session <laughs> yeah I used to do them on um, I mean paint wasn't flying flying but I used to do them on Reddit so soon soon Lucy we'll grab a Big canvas, big canvas is the best if you're going to go messy because you've got more area to work with. On small canvases it can do porridge a lot quicker. So big canvas, load up your palette with paint. In fact, have three palettes and ten brushes. Really go to town. And music. That's the one thing we're going to miss out on here actually because with a live session, if we do a messy abstract session, we can't have a playlist to really put us in the flow of it. So. That's what we have to do. <laughs> Would the colors look different in the bright sun? Uh, colors will look different in different kinds of lighting, but uh, what you're seeing right now in a slightly overcast day, oh, it's not overcast, a slightly dimmer day, it's not too bright. I think it's fair to say you're seeing it in its true form. Let me just flick the uh, thing here and have a look, see. Uh, that's pretty accurate, guys. That's what it looks like. 
Yeah, that's... I just flipped the comments aside and had a look. And yeah, so you will... What you're seeing is pretty much what we're doing. Pretty close to it. But yeah, abstract sessions are the most fun when you start a fresh canvas. So you've got a big blank canvas in front of you, there's nothing on it. And as a viewer, over a period of about 30 to 45 minutes on one of those big canvases, you can start to see uh, a picture come out of it. And that's why big faces are good because big faces are cool because what you can do is you can actually slowly start seeing the face emerging from nothing so that's really wholesome I really enjoy that and I've actually enjoyed grabbing those videos and turning them into time lapses because yeah then you can sort of see see it coming together firsthand and sort of know how brush strokes are landing which is sort of cool for your own process if you're a painter to be like okay I see how he's doing this I'll steal that and do that like that and then take that for myself. Um, which I encourage. If you see anything on here that you like, steal. Do it. Like if you think that, uh, yeah. One thing that I do that's different from a lot of other artists is I will not put down any guidelines. So I won't, when I start a canvas, I won't do charcoal or pencil very often. Sometimes I will. But usually I'll just start adding paint straight away, looking for shapes, looking for colours, and just adding them to the canvas. And then slowly, over more layers, pull it into the shape that I want it to be. But, uh, yeah, starting with no plan, that's my favourite. So, that's where I'm at. Ooh, we've got big clouds coming this way, guys. I don't know if we'll survive this one, but we'll see. moving the work to straight up and down so we get hit by these raindrops. Here we go. Can we survive this one? Who knows? One cool thing about a little bit of rain, guys, is it does get the canvas slightly wet. Now, a slightly wet canvas easier to paint. Paint flows better. So we're not opposed to a little bit of rain. We're just opposed to a lot of rain. Oh, are we gonna lose here? Okay, guys. Right. This is too much rain. I will be back. Almost there guys, just grabbing these last little bits. I'll come back for you, I swear. Told you I wouldn't forget about you. Here we are. Come with me, and we're going to go this way. Bear with me. Just to make sure I don't trip up. That's one of the things we're worried about here. Here we go. Down you come. How's your position? Looks good. 
Um, let's put them that way a little bit. How's that? Bring you over here, guys. There we go. Now, I need to keep it slightly angled because I want that light. So, that's how we'll do it. There we go. Cool. Um, am I missing some... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I missed a whole bunch of comments there. Um... I missed a few, but yeah, here we are. So, um, back again, the rain's not going to slow down this time, I don't think. I lost confidence, I bailed on it, so it's, um, there's a big cloud bank over that way to the west, and it's just moving east, and so we've got blue skies there, but not on top of us, so here we are. Right. Do I have favorite paint brands? Honestly, um, there is, if you're gonna spend money, spend money on the paint. I can't recommend that enough because uh, good paint is more saturated. It spreads better, everything's better. But um, when it comes to two, 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 Paint brushes? Ah, fine. Hey, thanks, Belisha. You're the best. Kiwi. <laughs> um, so spend money on paint. Everything else, canvases, paint brushes, you can, I mean, you can spend money on those too, but you can actually skint on those and you'll be okay. Um, if you don't need a tight canvas, skimp on the canvas. People can, people get quite pretentious about it and say, oh, yeah. Oh, we're back. Sweet. Oh, I thought I lost you guys for a moment there. Um, I got a FaceTime call and it booted the camera off. And so it was almost all over. And if it didn't cut out the whole time, you may have heard me swear. I said the F word. Slight, like, just lightly. I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, let me just swipe that there. Right. If you can hear that, we've got rain pouring down at the moment. So it was a good decision to pull under this veranda. We're very lucky. Yeah, this is a nice little place. I am very lucky. Um, not about the weather though. That's not so good. Keep the acrylics from drying up. Uh, so, Add painting mediums to your acrylics. Uh, if you use oils, oils will be fine by themselves. You'll get away with that. But if you're using acrylics, add gloss thickness to it. Um, you can add regular gloss, but I find it makes the paint too fluid. You want to have it still thick. So a gloss thickener is what you're after. A heavy gel gloss is what I think it's called. Heavy gel gloss. Mix that with the paint as you go. The easiest way to do it is to get your tray with your paint on it grab your tube of uh, gloss, heavy gel gloss, and just squirt it everywhere, weaving lines around all the paint. So when you mix it, um, you naturally get the gloss in there. And that'll stop it from, it'll still darken a little bit, but it won't lose its, that word. It won't lose its juicy saturation. That's the best way to put it. Are you a gal by name and nature? I think so. <laughs> yeah, I, I was able to paint the early layers in the rain early on in the piece, but now that we've used a lot of acrylics on the canvas, uh, sorry, on the board, we run the risk, if water comes along, of actually um, washing away a lot of our hard work. So we don't want to risk that. Uh, Alabama. Uh, Lucy. Mixture. So I live all over the show. This is the family house I'm in at the moment. So this is not technically my, this isn't my house at all. This is not mine. But it's a lovely place to paint. And I was living down in Dunedin and Christchurch last year. That was a thrill. Um, 
And that was really cool because I had uh, sheds down there as well to paint in. And then I'm moving up to Auckland, like I was saying, on December 1st. And so up in Auckland, I've got a little studio sorted out, which is fun. Big fan, big fan. <laughs> um, no, I'm pretty lucky actually in terms of, uh, I've managed to put away a fair bit of savings from working other jobs. And so now this year, well next year in 2023, I'm swapping to full-time painting and then part-time working. Um, and so with full-time painting, um, the issue has been guys that I've been turning down and taking a while with a lot of commissions. And so it's got to the point where I'm actually letting people down. Um, so yeah, there's, yeah. So anyway, steer into it, see how we go. Might have to go full-time back at my job. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, we are in, 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 in Tauranga. This is Tauranga. So that's fun. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. I'll keep that in mind. Oh no, I'm sorry, Lynn. Um, <laughs> so you're moving to Auckland? I am. I'm in the process of that. Zodiac sign. Sorry. Um, what is the 12th of January? That'll tell you what you need to know. 12th of January is my birthday. Um, and yes, Auckland's going to be my new home. Lucky me. So I'm stoked about the city. There's a lot going on. I'm not so excited about the traffic. That's less appealing to me. But it'll be okay. It'll be okay. He's a Capricorn. There we go. That's where we're at. <laughs> Cheers, guys. the only one uh, I can't understand that sorry Pacific but yeah that's all goody I wish I could really cool how on TikTok it lets you select a comment and then press translate on it to understand it immediately um, that's fantastic because a lot of comments come in in Spanish and other languages and it's nice just to be able to read it rather than saying no hablo espanol espanol so thank you TikTok for being so inclusive big fan
Thanks, Tim. Appreciate that. How many years have I been painting? Um, I've been painting for... Ooh, how many years? That's a good question. Um, started from a very young age. And then... I've been painting since... Jeepers. How long? A long time. You sort of... I mean, when, when would you say you've stopped? You're sort of painting your whole life, aren't you? Um, yeah. This particular painting? I think we're on our third hour. Are we on our third hour? Are you just putting the finishing touches on? No. <laughs> um, uh, we're not just putting the finishing touches on. What we're doing at the moment is... I'm adding in the sort of bolder colours and getting quite primal with the brush strokes. So the, um, if you come up close to this painting, all the brush strokes will seem really, um, they won't look like regular colour, they will look like brush strokes. And that's the part of the fun, that's what we're after. So the goal here is to get those colours into the picture and then after we've done that, We'll wait for it to dry and I'll come back with just the blacks and whites. Carve out the finer details and then once that's done, we'll pick two or three more colours, probably the primary ones, uh, red, yellow, blue, and we'll, um, yeah, finish off. So probably two more layers. Two more layers and we're done. So we're on the, uh, who's saying hey, Seb? G'day, Ray. Um, we're on the second out of four layers, I reckon. I reckon that's fair. So the painting's going to keep taking different shapes though, guys. It's, um, as we cover paint up and add more, we'll retain some of that pink and some of that blue from underneath, but I want to get fire and I want to get passion. So the best way to get that is to just keep adding those warmer colors in, adding more layers in, having a go. Um, Lizzie, did you look him up? I told you to look up. I did. Yes? No? Maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, what kind of paint? It is acrylic paint. So, that's fun. Um, next time we come out too, I might change to a... Oh, this layer is acrylic. The ones, underne the ones underneath are oil. So, I will change to a new picture. Um, it'll be the same picture, but it'll be a new copy of it. So it'll have more colour in it. Not a huge amount. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, but I'm only going to be here... I'm sorry, team. I'm only going to be here for another five minutes. Five minutes. Thank you so much. Yeah, that surf one's fantastic. It was a uh, commission for a very, very good old friend. So... Um, it's going down to Queenstown. I just have to ship it. <laughs> Which is the next thing to do. What is this painting going to cost me? Johnny, uh, this painting I was going to give away to someone. Um, so this one's not for sale. But this sort of size painting, anywhere between 400 and 600, depending on how much paint I use and how long it takes. Um, yeah. But again, we've still got to add a lot of detail to it and do a lot of the finer stuff. So at the moment, it's a wild, primal, coated um, thing. Uh, but yeah, as we add fine detail in there, it'll really crispen it up in a fun way. Sorry, can we agree about price? Beautiful work, love it. Hey, mate. <laughs> um, When did you start painting as a career? So probably, I've done a good job of pacing it. So I started off doing about 10, 15 hours a week um, alongside a full-time job after. So I didn't go into being an artist straight after art school. I ran off and did other things. Um, but following 
once I started doing it, I went from about 10 to 15 hours with a full-time job to 40 hours of my other job and then sort of 20 hours painting. And now I'm about 30, 30. And then I want to go to 50 on painting or 40 to 50 on painting and 15, 20 on the other job. That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, my full-time job was or is, well, it was now, uh, ops manager for, well, ops manager and marketing um, manager for a New Zealand franchise. Um, who's heard of Cobb & Co? This guy. <laughs> I'm an artist, not an incubator. Oh, good for you, Lynn. Proud of you. Um, yeah. And that was really cool. I had a, it was a good, I had a good time. Um, we had a really cool team. We had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, all the things. But anyway, that's where we're at. So we've probably got a bit much paint, to be fair. But that's uh, okay. It is what it is. And I, Lucy, I have never been to London. I would love to go to London. That would be fantastic. Just to see it. Just to see it one time. Um, that's good enough. All right. Thank you so much. Belle, you're the best. And good to see you back here. Um, anyway, I will see you all either tonight, later, but also a full shot. Is it not really? Mm. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, this is the, not the finished painting, but we've made good steps. So, um, need to let it dry a little bit. Because if we keep adding paint over the top, it'll start mm, clashing, mixing, turning into scum, turning into forage. Thank you so much, Lucy. And, uh, Belisha, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. Uh, yeah. All right. Cheers, guys. Bye.